Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So, as you may know, my iron farm is one of my most successful videos, and I was tinkering around with some new designs, and I worked on this design, and I think that it's a lot better than my first one. It's so much more efficient, like this. And I think we should get, it. and yeah, this is the tutorial on how to build it, so you're gonna need some signs, ice, hopper, and some white concrete. And some glass, I forgot to get that. So let's go over to our building plot. Okay, now that we're at our plot, what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to chuck down a double chest. And off of that, we're going to want to place in our hoppers. Alright, this is going to be the plot we're going to build on. So you're going to want to place down your double chest. And then you're going to want to place... And place down your hoppers. Sorry, they keep disappearing. Like that. All right, this is the weirdest glitch. All right, once you do that, you're gonna wanna block up by two so that they can actually get stuck in there, like this. And then just go around, and this is a bit of a longer build, so try and stick around to the end. And yeah, so this is pretty much what you're gonna want. And you're gonna wanna go, to, wanna go out by eight, so. You're gonna wanna go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then block up by one. And then just go down like that. Oops. Oopsie. And yeah, now you can place your ice. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab some of your glass and just place it like this. Eh. And just gonna want to make sure that the water source isn't bad yeah that could have been bad oops I had this all planned out and I messed it up oh man all right so you're just gonna want to break those like that and make sure that the water source is good unlike me and then you're gonna want to go out by eight again and I bet I'm gonna do the same thing again. I did the same thing again. This is this is mortifying. Okay, well There we go. Sorry about that guys. And then you're just gonna wanna fill in this edge part with white concrete. Hopefully I don't run out halfway through. I got a good chunk of it. And after you have that filled in, you're going to want to just take your glass and go underneath like this. I think, I personally think this is the best looking way. Even if that may, might not be your intent, that's just how I'm going to build it. Alright, after you've done that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go out by one like this. And then just bring this all the way back like that. Then go up like that, so you have a two sort of thing, like there, and go out, and then go up. So you're going to want to have this sort of two long staircase, and you're going to want to have to make four of these, so this is my third one, and you have to make one more. All right, this part isn't required, but if I were you, I would knock out these support pieces like that. And then just come under here and clean that up like that. And then you're gonna wanna extend these by one, like that. And at the top, you're gonna wanna go up by three. So one, two, three, and then that's gonna be the height of your roof. And you're gonna wanna just pull this out to here and then this is going to be the height of your ceiling so you're going to want to fill in this side fill in the back make a roof and then fill in this front wall so i'm going to do a time lapse
Okay, now that you've finished all that, you're gonna have it looking something like this. And now what you're gonna wanna do is go over to the very top part and place ice like this. Um, you can make this staircase go so high, but you gotta make the ceiling high. You can also make the ceiling like a staircase. But then you have to be pretty careful with the iron golem spawner so they don't spawn in the ceiling, which would be pretty bad. And once you have this all done, um, you're gonna wanna do another layer of ice like this. Because you're gonna, it, it does, it has this weird glitch thing. And this looks super weird, but what you're gonna wanna, wanna do now is you're gonna wanna grab your signs. And you're gonna wanna just place them like this. Okay, now that you got all your signs in, it's starting to really come together. All you really need now is the iron golem spawners, the lava, and the hopper. Oh, no, wait, we already did the hoppers. Okay, now that you got that all broken, um, you're gonna wanna start doing the iron golem spawners. So you're gonna wanna grab all your spawners and make sure to go out by two like this. And then go two out by here so I'm gonna do it like in a grid shape so like um, I'm gonna do it like this so then I'd go like that and that and just sort of alternate them so they have Okay, now that we got all our spawners in, you're gonna want to start seeing some iron golems down there. You probably would have wanted to do this first, but I didn't. I mean, you really should. But you're gonna want to grab a lava bucket, and you're just gonna want to plop it down. Right. Oh. Right there, and you're gonna. This is pretty much it entirely done. And you're just gonna wanna exit the farm and just watch him go. It's so much better than the last one that I did. Um, because of the slope, it makes them, it, it just sort of gives them a lot more momentum. So they don't like get to use their AI. They just sort of flow with the water and they go really fast. This is an epic farm. I really recommend building it. And if you did watch to the end, thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been Numerically, and I'm out.